You know, colon cancer, colorectal cancer, is rapidly uh, moving toward being the number one cancer in Canada. It, uh, it affects both men and women. Uh, one in 15 of us can expect in our lifetime to be diagnosed with colorectal cancer. I've now been diagnosed with, uh, with rectal cancer, and next week I undergo surgery that will remove my rectum and my prostate and my bladder. Uh, but I'm really quite confident because we have an immense, immensely wonderful facilities here in Ottawa at the Cancer Center. I know that the surgical team includes some of the best people on the continent and the facilities that we have in our community. Uh, we're here in Survivors Park. And you know, when I was born, 25% of people diagnosed with cancer uh, could, could survive. Today, that's 62%. We're making progress. Not fast enough, perhaps, but we're making progress. In this city, not only do we have the wonderful facilities of the Cancer Center, we have the MapleSoft Center here. And uh, all along the cancer journey, there's, there's help available, whether it be coaching, whether it be learning how to adjust to the new lifestyle, whether it be learning to adjust to the psychology of having cancer. So I just feel so blessed in this community that uh, if I'm facing major, major surgery, eight to ten hours, uh, that uh, I should have every reason for optimism, and I do. I've lived my life uh, on the basis that any, any day that starts with waking up is a good day to dance and make the most of today because that's the only day God is guaranteeing you. Uh, so with, uh, with optimism I approach my journey, but I, but I really do hope that people will look and realize from the age of 50 on, men and women, you should be screened at least every two years for colorectal cancer. Let's, let's stop those numbers from, from increasing. If you're in the high risk uh, category, if somebody in your, in your family has had colon cancer, then uh, you're gonna need a colonoscopy every four or five years. But screening every, at least every two years, and we can reduce those numbers. You know, in Canada, we're rapidly going toward one in two people uh, who will be diagnosed with cancer, but 62% now survive. And so we're changing the culture. When the doctor says you have cancer, you do not think death, you think surviving. I feel very blessed to have the, the support of my family and the greater family within the, uh, within the Ottawa area. Doctors say maybe six months to recover. I'm aiming at three to four. And uh, surgery on Monday, bring it on.